Hey guys, what's up? Right now I am at Jamil McLean's one day summer camp. And right now I have my little VIPs right here. So I have one question to ask them. Hey you guys. Yes! Are you gonna let the heat stop you today? No! There you have it. Kane is in the building. Yeah! Alright, already the show goes on all night. Till uh. the morning we dream so long. <laughs> Anybody ever wonder when they would see the thunder? Just remember when you come up. you come to see? Jamil McClain. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Sparkles with Sparkling Entertainment and right now I have linebacker Jamil McClain, aka the birthday boy. It is I. Your birthday's this Monday, right? Yes, it is. It's my birthday. I got my friends here. We having fun. Did you celebrate last night? I did. I did a little bit of celebrating on the rooftop last night. Just a little bit. The lockout. You know that was going to be my next question. You know it. <laughs> is it officially over? No, the lockout is not officially over. You know, the lockout will be officially over when we all come to agreement. You know, when we all find something that is good for both sides. So, it's not officially over. We are very close, but it's not over yet. So, have you been in the gym or you've been on your couch eating donuts and brownies? Man, you know, I could, you could tell. Look at me. Like, I've been eating all donuts and brownies. No, I've been working hard, man. I've been in L.A., you know, Philly a lot, working out with my guy out here, working out with another guy, you know, and, and then I'm about to head out to Atlanta or back out to L.A., you know. So for me, it's all hard work, you know. I got to I gotta be prepared for this season. I got to be prepared to, you know, to do great things that I expect from myself, you know. So I've been working hard, you know, and a lot of people in the NFL have been working hard, and we ready to go work. So you didn't cancel your membership of Bally's, right? You, That's not your enemy. That's your friend. Oh, that's my friend, man. I love the gym. They be in the gym looking at me like I'm crazy when I be working out. You know, one time I got an old lady, an older lady to work out with me. So I'm getting everybody better. I'm always in the community, you know, and I'm and I'm all about the kids. I'm all about the future. I'm all, I'm all about all of this stuff that builds all of us into be, being better people, you know. So why did I decide to do it? Because it's the right thing to do. goal is to make sure that these young men and women all right grow up to be responsible young men and women and that's all part of it and these programs are essential kids need to see positive things and all that you know I mean they need to be around positive people because like I I definitely didn't have that coming up mm -hmm. and everything so I got to give back to other people you know I ain't nobody important and all that but mm -hmm. I mean, the kids need that. Um, football is all about discipline. Um, a lot of people think, I mean, it's, 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 it's fun, but it's about discipline at the same time. Um, you don't take nothing from no kids. If they don't, I like, I'm the type of person, actually, I um, coach for Parkside Warriors. And if you don't, like, we, we like, if you don't come to practice, you don't get in the game. So you cut, you yeah. cut. Well, we don't actually, we don't necessarily cut per se, but we can actually cut the playing time. Um, he might but plan. What if they're like, more like an Allen Iverson, they don't need no practice? Oh, no, no. <laughs> No. Practice. That you talk about practice. That, that, that do not even that don't cut for Parkside Warriors. I'm letting y'all know that the whole organization. I mean, I'm 11, 14, but um, that's from five, seven, that's all the way up. <laughs> and you have to have thick skin too. You have to be strong. Oh, yeah. You can't be a wimp. You can't, can't be, be no. All. Cannot be lazy at all. Um, football is hard work. A lot of people. I mean, a lot of kids know that it's hard work. I mean, right now it's what like 90, almost 100 degrees out here. But you see kids out here. They willing to work. They willing to put that hard work in to the next level. I mean, a lot of these kids we see out here right now, we gonna see you on Sundays, and then in college you are gonna see them on Saturdays. So it's a lot of kids out here that's really I see potential. What in. brings you out today? Uh, just you know, give back and um, Jamil McLean's uh, camp, and you know, it's it's good to put smiles on little kids' face and you know, help out any way I can. Us for us guys coming out here it means so much to these little kids and putting a smile on their face. You know, a lot of guys don't have the opportunity or may not afford to go to a Ravens game. You know, so uh, you know anything we can do to, to help out. You know, whatever is teaching them little things that I've learned along the way playing football or you know or just talking to them about life. You know, it's and uh, it's just a great thing. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about the trade. So you're with the Washington Redskins now. Mm -hmm. um, I played for the Ravens for four years um, and just signed the Washington Redskins. 
I saw when when the season was over with, so I haven't got a chance to meet a lot of the guys. We had a lot. We had a 707 maybe about a month ago, so that was my first time getting a chance to meet all the guys, or whatever. But I just moved to Virginia down in Herndon to get a little bit more custom down there, man. But my roots are still down here in Baltimore. My people down here in Baltimore. How do you feel being like the new kid on the block? You know how like when you have to go into the classroom and. My name is such as such, so you have to do that with a whole new team. Um, well, I did that when they had a 707. I just said my name and where I was from. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, a change is good, you know, and I feel like this change with the Washington Redskins is good. This is our future. Like, this may be the next lawyer, the doctor, or mayor out here. So just to go out here and show these kids, man, that, you know, that the, the goals that we reach, they can reach them too. And just show each and one, every one of these kids that they all have greatness inside of them. They just got to find it and want to reach for it. Um, and just to come out and have a, a good time with them, showing the life skills about life and not just football, but just teaching them about life and what it means is to chase out their goals and your dream. At the end of the day, just to be able to see the smiles on the kids' face and them laughing and having a good time, that's what it was all about. He's transformed into a, to a heck of a guy. That's good that, you know, you stayed his friend throughout his career because a lot of people with jealousy and things like that but right. for you to be a true friend since sixth grade that right. means a lot right it's definitely a blessing but it was it was more motivation you know because you know uh when it boils down he's where he needs to be and where he wants to be and that pushes guys like us and that's what it's all about it's all about competition it's all about positive competition though you know uh you know us being able to see where he's at in life right now that just gives us that extra drive that extra edge to you know, to compete and get, you know, Motivate. Also, yeah. Motivation. Absolutely, absolutely. If I got a friend that's 6'5", 350 pounds, and I'm following him, you think I can see what's in front of me? No. I can't see nothing, man. I want to be in the front. I want to lead the pack. I want to take charge. And that's what I want all of y'all to do, man. Take charge, lead in a classroom, on a football field, in gymnastics, whatever it is you do, man. Be the leader, man. Set the tone.